This game is either going to be the most scuffed thing of all time, or it's going to go in the Hall of Fame. There's just no in between. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Busher. You can call me Ice Shinobi. Today, I have a new Dragon Ball Z game for you. I don't actually like have it for you, but I'm here to present it. In case you haven't already heard about it, I know a lot of people are talking about it. Dragon Ball The Breakers. I don't know if that's like a Dragon Ball reference or something, because if you don't know me, I am the guy that's playing through Kakarot having never seen Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z before. And funnily enough, I'm actually at the Cell Saga right now, who is one of the primary characters of this game. I'm going to watch the trailer again one more time with you guys, kind of point stuff out. You're going to feel very quickly why I said what I said in the intro. But nonetheless, let's hop into it. All right, so it opens up. Cell raining down mayhem. This poor city. Also, this shot looks so high def. I've been told, like, Cell hunting people down was a lot scarier in the show. And Kakarot, he's just kind of chilling. Find someone. They're hiding somewhere in there. It's time to take a stand. Yeah, inherently prop hunt, baby. Well, that's one factor to it. You'll see. There's a raider, which it looks like if you're cell, you start off as like the little bug form of him. So seven survives one v seven. Like, the running just looks so scuffed. I love it. Asymmetrical. So, if you're not familiar with, like, Dead by Daylight or uh, Friday the 13th, you literally, like, transform into objects and hide. Or use a rocket launcher, shoot it, and then turn into a rocket yourself. Like, how do you balance this game? This, this, is, I feel like it's gonna be hella scuffed. It has to be, bro. And then as like you like if you sell as you kill people and absorb them, of course, you reach your other forms. And I'm guessing you get faster, more powerful, and it makes it easier to find others. <laughs> like, can you imagine just obliterating whole cities? So that's the thing is I feel like the more people that get caught, you can literally just start obliterating entire sections of the map making it easier to find people because it would start off. You know, you have to go through each building individually. Break out from chaos. And I guess, like I said, you, like if you're a survivor, you can find weapons and fight back in a sort of way. Dragon Ball The Breakers. And a closed beta test coming as well. It's a very interesting concept because you all know, I mean, anime games typically don't stray far from the whole arena fighter concept. So it's nice to see them trying something new. You can even argue that they're like copying Dead by Daylight or whatever, but at least they're trying something like that with their own twist on it. It's not like they just take the entire formula and just redo it. I mean, like you saw, I mean, you get more and more powerful. The whole, it, it makes sense for Dragon Ball. But the whole thing this game is going to rely on is going to be replayability and balance because like if the raiders are too powerful then that's not even fun for the survivors but if it's too difficult then no one's gonna want to play raider then you're just gonna have survivor lobbies it's all a give and take now this is also the official art for the game i don't even know who this is but i'm assuming all three of these will be raiders i think it'd be cool to be frieza as well but so how would that work because we know cell like absorbs the androids to reach his his final form frieza just kind of gets more powerful i'm assuming it's the same like if you're frieza and you kill a certain number of survivors you can get more powerful but dude i don't know if i'm being like overly optimistic or anything but this seems like such a fun concept enough to play with seven of your friends that, that i mean i have seven friends full lobbies of just absolute chaos running around trying to get away from these insanely powerful villains again there's a closed beta test soon i'm going to be covering everything about this game as much as possible as news comes out so of course if i can get in on that closed beta test i'll get gameplay to you guys but enough from me what do you think about this i feel like this is a very interesting spin on anime games i'm curious to see how the community kind of reacts to this because right now it's more of just a what but guys that's been it for this very 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 quick video i hope you did enjoy again drop your comments down below what you think of the, the whole game concept in general with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace